What's up, Kingdom Kids? It's your girl, Yada, and I'm here with the prophetic word for the month of April. Yes, your father has blessed us with the word for the month, y'all. Y'all already know how we do, right? When God gives us the word for the month, what do we say? We say, thank you, Lord. Come on now, God has set the tone for our month, family. Come on, somebody say, thank you, Lord. One more time, somebody type that thing out. Somebody say, thank you, Lord. Amen. Listen, every time God gives us the word for the month, we like to thank him for blessing us with the word and setting our tone, right? All right. Now, y'all, listen, if you're new here, hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We welcome you to be a part of this family. So don't leave without hitting that subscribe button. That way you never miss a video, okay? And if this message blesses you in any way, feel free to hit the like button. And if the Holy Spirit leads you to, don't leave without comment or sharing a video, all right? We definitely want to send a video, guys. We want to make sure this reaches whomever the Lord intends for it to reach. Amen? All right, now, family, listen, before we get into the word, we're going to go ahead and pray in the Holy Spirit, because y'all know we don't do nothing here without God, right? All right, pray with me, family. And Father God. We come before you today, Lord Jesus, as humble as possible, Father, just thanking you for who you are. God, we thank you for keeping us yet another day, Father God. We thank you for loving us, God. We thank you for your grace and your mercy, Father. God, I thank you for your sons and daughters that has been led to this video, Father. I pray that they would have the eyes to see and the ears to hear. Lord, let it be your voice that is heard, Father God. Speak through me. I pray that the Holy Spirit will begin to fill me up and this flesh will step aside. God, speak to your children. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen, amen, amen. All right, now, family, I do believe this word is going to bless the kingdom, okay? Because it is the prophetic word for the month, okay? God also blessed us with a prophetic dream, okay? So stick around. This is definitely going to bless somebody, all right? Still get this word back before God in prayer and test this spirit, family. But God is saying right now for the month of April, he said, y'all to tell him it's showtime. Listen to me. I know for the last couple of weeks, the last month, some of y'all last year, you've been hearing, you're about to walk in the promise. The blessing is about to be before you. God say it's showtime. Okay, he gave me a dream. I'm gonna give y'all the dream God gave me, and he gave us a scripture. Okay, and when I give it to y'all, it's gonna all make sense. Okay, but whoever this is for, whoever needs this, because I need this, this I needed this. Okay, when God blessed me with it, okay, and told me this was the word for the month of April, I just became so excited. Okay, so y'all just bear with me. I'm you know a little excited to bring this word, but listen, God say this is gonna be something you've been waiting for. Okay, it is going, listen, God say it is showtime, baby. You're about to be, listen, you're about to get what you pray for. You're about to get what you pray for, baby. No more opening acts. It's no more opening acts, okay? You know how you go to like a show or a concert or things like that. And they have these opening acts. God say, baby, you're about to see what you paid for. You're about to be before the blessing. I'm telling you, God say it is showtime. Do you hear me? He say you're about to get what you pray for. Listen to me, receive this thing by faith, family. I'm telling you, God say, baby, it is time for the big reveal, okay? He said, it is time for the big reveal. Let me give y'all the, the dream, and it's going to make more sense, okay? And then I'm going to give y'all the scripture, okay? I told y'all I had some words for y'all, okay? So I pray that this thing activates your spirit, okay? Receive this thing by faith, family. But this is the dream that God gave me. So y'all, in the dream, okay, in the dream that I had, I was asleep in the dream, okay? And so I'm in this sleep and I'm trying to wake up but I cannot wake up out of this sleep and so I manually take my hands and I start opening my eyes and as I open my left eye it opens up but when I go to open my right eye I'm like struggling and I pull my eyelid up but not open it like the literally the skin rolls back like y'all it rolled back like you know like on cartoons when you know like it rolled up the uh the curtains roll up right or like a dog's tongue or something right it rolled up like really like you could see the white meat in the veins right like stay with me y'all I promise y'all this is gonna bless somebody okay so then like the eye opened Okay, my eye opened and I was like, well, dang, how are doctors going to sew this back together? Like, I'm I'm wondering how they're going to do it and how much it's going to hurt, right? All right, y'all, listen, let me bless you. This is what God is saying. That's why I say he said it's something you've been waiting for. Listen to me. God is saying we try to uh, see something. 
It's something you've been way you like, God, when you gonna move in this situation? You ain't answering me. Some of y'all was fasting for clarity. Listen to you. God say just because you didn't know what he was doing didn't mean he wasn't doing something in the background. You are about to get ready to see what God has been doing in the background, okay? Listen to me. Like, I tried to force my right eye open. I hurt myself. Come on now, listen to me now. I hurt myself trying to force to see something that it was not time. The eye did not open. Yes, my right eye opened. I got to see the full picture, amen. I got to see the full picture, but not outside of God's timing, okay? Listen to me. When God let the right eye open, it was him saying, I'm giving you a glimpse. Come on now, I've given you visions. I've given you signs. But before you can open, you might, before I could open my right eye, God had to allow me to open it no matter how much I try to force the eye open baby listen to me I hurt myself I, I made my, my my eyelid my skin roll back okay and some of us okay some of us all in the kingdom we we were so hard up or we were so so willing you like God you've been doing stuff in every, every every other area of my life come on now keep it real with yourself you like God when you gonna give me an answer on this when I'm gonna see God like listen and just because you don't see me working don't mean I ain't working. Come on now. Just because you don't see me working don't mean I ain't working, okay? He said, this is time for the big reveal. You are about to see the full picture. Do you hear me? He said, all the work you put in, baby, you are about to see. You are about to see what you paid for. I'm telling you, and when I prayed about this, listen, y'all. When I prayed about this dream, God said, it's going to be nothing you can't handle. Okay, so receive this thing by faith. I don't know what it is for you, but whatever it is about to be revealed for you in the month of April, God say it will be nothing you can't handle. Okay, but listen, y'all, God, listen, God say he say it's going to happen on my timing. Whatever situation this is, you were trying to force God to move on a certain situation. Come on now. He says, I'm about to reveal what I have been doing. He said, it's going to happen on my timing and God's timing is now. Come on now. God say the timing is now. I'm about to reveal it to you now. Come on now. Showtime is now. I'm telling you, if you receive this thing by faith, somebody just say it's showtime, baby. Come on, somebody type that thing so I'll say it's showtime. Come on now. Somebody say it's showtime. Receive this thing by faith, family. Somebody say it's showtime. Type that thing out. Come on. Say, it's showtime. I'm telling you, God say, baby, just because I didn't answer the way you thought I would, come on now, just because I didn't move when you thought I should, do not mean I was not working. Come on now. Did not mean I did not hear your prayers. Come on now. Did not mean I did not answer you. I don't know who need this, but listen, I'm telling you, God said, baby, you'll see what I want you to see. Come on now. He said, you're going to see what I want you to see when I want you to see it. You can try to force them eyes open all you want. That's why I say it's something you've been wanting to see. You've been waiting to see because I had been struggling to get out of that sleep so bad. I was trying to wake up so bad, trying to see something, trying to wake up that I had started trying to open my own eyes. Come on now. Listen to me. You about to go through a soul mama, baby. You're about to go through a soul mama, but it's all for the the glory of God. Amen. It's all for the glory of God. Do you hear me? And remember, this is what God told me. He said, remember, listen to me now, family. Come on now. Listen to me now. God said, remember, after Saul saw, he served. Listen to this. Whew, that blessed my spirit. God say, listen to me. After Saul saw, after Saul saw, after Jesus opened his eyes, he served. Okay? So after you get this blessing, don't forget where it came from. Okay? Remember, when you come into the kingdom, after salvation, it's time to serve. So somebody, I don't know who that's for. But God say, baby, remember, after Saul saw, he served. That ain't the scripture God gave me. Let me give y'all the scripture that I'm going to let y'all go, okay? So God led me to Jonah 2. In Jonah 2 verse 10, it says, And the Lord commanded the fish, and it, it vomited Jonah out unto the dry land. Listen to me. Y'all go back and read Jonah's story, okay? Get some revelation. I know y'all might be familiar with the story, but go back and read it, okay? But God is saying right here, he said, like I said, I try to force my eye open. He said Jonah was in the fish for three days. Jonah prayed for three days. Okay, so you may have been praying, you have been fasting, you have been you, okay, whatever you've been doing, God gonna move on his timing. The fish was commanded to spit Jonah out when God told him to do it, and it did not happen before God's timing. Amen. So Jonah, Jonah could have spent his time crying, 
He could have spent the time trying to open the fish mouth, trying to force it open, but that was not going to get it to happen. Do you hear me? For the fish was not going to be in the place for where he needed him to spit, where God needed him to spit Jonah to. Amen? So God is saying right now, some of us may feel like that, right? Jonah, imagine him in that fish. He probably felt like he was drowning right he like he probably felt like he was about to be eaten and remember god say don't anticipate things going wrong he said but you know he god is saying right now he's like after those time after the time some of y'all been in the belly for three months three years come on now some of y'all for like three decades amen but god is saying at the right time at the timing right is a, a season for everything and everything happens on oh, god's timing remember in the time is now he said the, the fish is about to spit you out Right, the the fish out and mouth had to be open for Jonah to see. Okay, and even Jonah, right after he was spit out, it's in the next verse said that he went to and then he heard the word of God came back to him. So even he, after he was spit out, went into service. Amen. He went into service after he was spit out. But listen, God is saying right now, God say, listen. He said Jonah spent three days. Those were the days that God had wanted him to spend there. Right? So even though you want to see, this is something you wanted God to move on. He said that the timing was his. All right? So just because God didn't move when you wanted him to move, don't mean he was not going to move in a situation. All right? So yeah, God said, imagine, imagine what Jonah was dealing with. But even more, imagine the fish. The fish thought he had a baby. He had a whole person in him that he could not swallow, okay? Because even the fish had to take orders. Even the fish is a servant, amen? So God, it wants you to remember that when you are spit out, come on now, when a, spit, when a fish spits you out, come on now, when your eye is open, it's showtime. It is showtime, okay? It is showtime. It is showtime. It is showtime. I don't know who this is for, but God wants you to know that it is showtime. In a month of April, come on now, in a month of April, baby, it is time for the big reveal, and it will be nothing that you cannot handle, okay? It will be nothing that you cannot handle. If you know Jonah's story, he ran because he felt like he won't do that. He was like, I can't do this. I'm I'm young. And they, you know, God, God said it will be nothing that you cannot handle. Amen. All right, y'all. Listen, I pray that this reaches whomever it needs to reach. I pray that it blesses you. Amen. I love y'all with the love of God. I thank y'all for the love, the comments, the shares, the new subscribers. I thank y'all so much for the donations, the seeds you guys have been sowing into the ministry, okay, to what God is doing through this family. I thank you. I thank you. And I pray that God will open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you don't have room enough to receive. Amen. In Jesus' name, listen, family, y'all go out and live a blessed life. You know the blessed life comes first being a blessing.